And we are back with Sharon Schweitzer. She is a culture and etiquette expert who can answer all your questions about everything from handling problematic back to school moments and much more. All right, this first text question is, what is the best way to deal with teachers that are being difficult or unfair to your child? Well, I think one of the first things that is really important to do is sit down with your child and explore all the possibilities. And I say that having been a student myself and I'm one of six children growing up because there would be many times when we would come home and tell mom and dad, oh, X, Y, Z happened and the teacher did this. And maybe we didn't share all the story with mom and dad about what might have happened with the teacher. So I think in all fairness to teachers, um, it would be a good idea to find out everything if possible. And one of the tactics my parents used was to say, okay, before I go talk to your teacher, I'm gonna give you one opportunity to tell me everything that happened. So come clean. If you did some things you shouldn't have done, let me know right now, because once I go to the teacher, they're gonna tell me everything, and then I'm gonna come back to you and it might not look so good for you. So <laughs> I think it's a really good idea to before you go to the teacher and maybe accuse the teacher of anything to please make sure you have a hundred percent of the story from your child and then if the situation is such that maybe the teacher is being unfair to your child then follow the school's problem resolution process but i encourage all parents to explore everything with children because sometimes as children we don't always share everything we've done as rascals Yes, okay. All right, so this person's asking, if you're a student and you're asking a professor or a teacher for an extension on a project, what is the best way to do that? To be honest and tell the professor the reason you need the extension. And if you just did not get to it because of the burden of other classes, let the professor know that. It may be such that you're taking too many classes, the professor can give you some guidance but always be honest and explain why. All right, now they, ha they had a follow-up. They said, now, what happens if you have some sort of circumstance that you want to keep private? So maybe you can't tell all the details, but you can tell some of the details. Then I would use discretion and judgment and tell the professor that it has to do with a personal family situation or a you know private medical situation, and that should give the professor enough. They. I trust me, they do not want you to spill the gut, your guts and, and share all kinds of uncomfortable information. It makes it awkward for the professor as well. <laughs> That's a good and point. That <laughs> all right, uh, this person is asking, how do you handle other parents that maybe are going crazy at a child's sporting event? I would encourage you to allow the officials to handle that. Um, as parents, it's very difficult for us to go over and talk to another parent. Sometimes things escalate. Uh, the other option would be to maybe have community standards where maybe there's some sports um, standards in place for parents' behavior at those uh, games or those events. Okay. And this is probably our last question. we got about a minute left. This person says, what do you do if your child is being picked on? Okay, the bullying is t being taken very seriously at the school. So I would definitely look at the school's bullying uh, policy, how that's being enforced, and what you need to do to engage with um, the, the policy at the school and how your child feels comfortable handling that. If, if going through that process will make it worse or just how that needs to be handled, but I would definitely follow the process and take the temperature of your child. Yeah, that's again one of those situations where you have to say like you did before, tell me everything before we go through so that we know what the whole situation really is. All right, thank you so much for your time and your expertise. I'm sure we will have you back when we all have to meet our families for Thanksgiving and have random and awkward conversations and how to deal with it. I look forward to that. If you missed any of this information, you can find it all on our website. It will be in the Two Wants to Know section.